Hi, guys. Montreal, it's nice to be here again. Thank you. I like your city. I'm a little bitchy right now. I'm so I've been trying to quit smoking, and I came here, and everyone in your fucking city smokes. <laughs> I borrowed a cigarette from a golden retriever today. <laughs> I've literally tried everything to quit. I even took up knitting last year to keep my hands busy, and now I just knit and smoke like my grandma. <laughs> If anyone needs a nicotine-flavored scarf, I'm your guy. <laughs> I got the patch. I was like, okay, everyone does the patch. I got the patch. I ripped open the box and read the instructions. The patch has to go on a part of your body above your heart that's hairless, which is my fucking forehead. Mmm. <laughs> I don't smoke anymore, but I'm dizzy all the time. <laughs> it sucks. I hate being a smoker. And then, like, anything, anytime something stressful happens, you just go to smoking. Like, two weeks ago, in my neighborhood, there was a murder on my street. It wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> but it was stressful, right? Because for, like, a week, my street was covered with cops. So, naturally, I was smoking my weed indoors. And... Uh, <laughs> I just remember because I was smoking a joint and there was a knock at the door and both my cats looked at me like, that is an authoritative knock. <laughs> it's like, this isn't a drill, girls. This is what we trained for. <laughs> like, they're hiding the drugs, spraying for breeze. I open the door, I'm like, hey. <laughs> like, both the cats are like, and you know, like, when you're watching cop shows and they're investigating a murder and they bust someone with a joint, they're like, we don't care about the weed. We're here about the murder. Not this cop. <laughs> he fucking cared. <laughs> so after he, like, confiscates my weed, the weed he could find, always split the stash. <laughs> He's interviewing me about the murder, and he's like, take me through the last 48 hours of your life. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, it's easy enough. It's Tuesday today. And he's like, it's Friday. I was like, <laughs> Remember, girls, if we can't see him, he can't see us. <laughs> I don't really worry about going to jail, though. From what I hear, between the drugs and the gay sex, I think I'm already there. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I am married. I'm married to uh, my beautiful husband, Jeremy. We just had our 13th anniversary last week. And, uh, yeah, thanks. So lonely. So lonely. <laughs> no, he's wonderful. And like friends of ours always ask like how we've been together so long. And like, I, I don't even lie. Like the truth is I treat my marriage like I actually am in jail. I just keep my head down. I shut the fuck up and I always hide my drugs in my bum. <laughs> Cause then it's like a little surprise gift for him, right? <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> It's weird, two friends of ours just, they got married around the same time of us, as us and they got divorced six months ago and now they're both in the best shape of their lives. So we're thinking about it. 